pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> This is Kriegel corn. Kriegel corn from the Inferno Candy Company. And I've done, I say this all the time. I've done so many products from the Inferno Candy Company and they have this new Christmas, or they have this new holiday inspired uh, candy corn, popcorn. Um, that should be pretty freaking hot. And uh, slight, conf well not confession to make, but all right, so it's a peppermint flavored um, Corn, and I am not the biggest peppermint guy in the world, so uh, <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to do my best here. I will appreciate the heat, though. I'll tell you that. Um, and for candy company is always making rad stuff. They make stuff from the from the the more approachable to the absolutely insanely hot. Um, so I'm interested to see where this is going to fall. Uh, let's just get right into this and let's get it opened up and see what it looks like. Is anything like the other Inferno Candy Company products? It's gonna be a bag within a bag, just fine. It's not a bag within a bag at all. So I'm just gonna go put it right here on the table. So that's what it looks like. So it's, it, it's, it's freaking candy corn, but it's peppermint flavored. And honestly, it doesn't smell like super pepperminty from here. So. I, 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 okay, so there's like this super artificialness that I don't like about a lot of things. Like, uh, I hate liquid smoke. I hate artificial mint flavor. Um, I don't. I'm not the biggest peppermint fan because it's generally this like super artificial kind of flavor profile to it, and I hate that. But from here, I'm not getting that super artificial flavor. So I don't know what he's using to flavor it, but I'm not. For a person who doesn't necessarily like a lot of peppermint, I'm not completely turned off. Um, let me see if I can bring up a product description of this stuff. It says, celebrate the season in the sweetest and spiciest way with festive Christmas popcorn. So it's, uh, this is available for a limited time only. Our crinkle corn starts with being drenched in a homemade white peppermint chocolate. Nice. Then covered in red and green scorpion chocolate loaded in with crushed candy canes. This product is extremely hot and amazingly delicious. This is the perfect stocking stuffer for any chili head. We'll fill up, we fill up a 16 ounce bag to the top we we'll for the extraordinary when you can have the extraordinary. Okay. I'm gonna have to do two different pieces of this. Trench and homemade white peppermint chocolate, then covered in red and green scorpion chocolate. Okay, so the pepper is gonna be in, like, the huge concentrations of pepper are gonna be in these pieces right here. But there's a variety of different pieces. So I'm gonna start here. You know what? I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna move here. Okay. Let's see what happens. It doesn't smell super unpleasant, and it doesn't smell that hot, but I'm sure that I'm going to be regretting that here soon. Anyways, let's just see what happens. Cheers. There's like a cheddar going on or something. It's pretty hot. <laughs> okay. It's not as like unpleasantly peppermint as I thought it was gonna be. All right, this should, this should be a lot hotter. It's interesting because like the first time, the first bite I got, I almost got this like cheddar situation going on, but it's not. It's just like, like that super buttery like white chocolate. <clears throat> Huh, okay. So it's interesting, the first bite I had, had like a ton of pepper, like, flavor going on. I don't know if it was super hot. Almost like, not, not scary hot, but, <clears throat> mm. the first bite was like, okay, this is actually super, super hot. And so then I got a second bite that had, <coughs> <coughs> whew, that had the, um, uh, a red and green scorpion chocolate, loaded and with crusted candy canes. So that portion of it, like the second piece that I ate had all of that situation going on on top of it. And um, uh, it wasn't as hot as the first one I had. So I feel like there's more, it's just gonna be like where the powder is and like where the crushed scorpions and reapers and I didn't even read the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are popcorn, corn syrup, sugar, uh, oil, whole milk, cocoa powder, heavy whipping cream, peppermint, habanero, ghost, Trinidad scorpion, and Carolina reaper pepper. So I'm gonna say I'm getting most of like Habanero ghost scorpion situation. I'm not getting a ton of like 
Reaper burn, the way the Reapers kind of affect me. Actually, I kind of am. Just by... Reapers, I feel Reapers here <laughs> most. Um, but I get a good hit in the back of the throat, good in, good in the top of the tongue kind of situation. Um, so, okay. Um, the white chocolate portion of this is delicious. It's weird. The first time that I took a bite out of it, it almost like registered as like cheddar almost. But it's, I mean, that just sounds weird. But it's not. It just has that like, that white chocolate, like sweet, buttery sweetness going on. And then you're getting the peppermint hint. Hit. And I'm going to say that it's like, it's not peppermint forward like a candy cane is. It's not like super like overly pepperminty. It's, they used a slight amount of restraint in it because they want you to be able to taste like the popcorn, no chocolate, like the peppers, those kind of things. So there is like a little like uh, restraint happening with the amount of peppermint that's in here. And I think that's like awesome because I mean, I'm not a huge peppermint guy, and I, I think that there's a lot of room for subtlety in that. And part of the reason why I don't like peppermint is because you normally are punched in the face with peppermint flavor of anything that's pepperminty, and this is not that. It's balanced, and it, so it's it's fantastic. It's got delay. It's got balance to it. So, for a person who does not like peppermint, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to. It's not that slap you in the face peppermint. It's an approachable person portion of it. So that being said, um. Uh, the burn on this. Um, I'm going to say that this is like one of their medium-ish products. Um, definitely has a really good heat. I mean, it's got Scorpion's Ghost, it's got Reapers in there. Like, you're definitely getting that heat um, from it. Um, but, like, it's not, it, it's not like rocking my, like, just absolutely rocking me. Uh, I'm going to put this at a, a four? Maybe a three. No, I'm going to go three. Three out of ten on my heat scale. Um, maybe mouth water. I uh, got a good burn all over tongue, tongue burn, back of the throat a little bit, feeling a little bit going on here from the Reapers. Um, but yeah. Um, that being said, um, I've always been a huge fan of the Inferno Candy Company. They're always making like handmade products, really, really cool products. Like, for, like they're always coming out with new cool things, and I'm always like super excited to get them. And then although all the peppermint not be my, might not be my flavor profile and my thing that I'm going to reach for first, this is still going to be, this is an extremely high quality product. And uh, if you are a fan of peppermint and spicy products, like you are going to absolutely love this because this is uh, very, very well made. And uh, they, they always knock it out of the ballpark with their, all these homemade little snacks that they make. So, um, it's super seasonal. And um, shipping deadlines are coming up. Um, sh shipping deadlines are here. But um, uh, in the description below is going to be a link to the Inferno Can Cup if you want to check it out. Um, I really can't speak more highly of them. They're always coming up with awesome stuff. That being said, I hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.